It's the 2K Sports pregame show, brought to you by Kia. Tonight, two teams begin a new journey, the beginning of the NBA regular season. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson, joined by my colleagues and my friends, oh, wow. my buds, yeah. Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking at the Thunder, it's not an ideal situation for them, starting the season in a hostile environment on the road, but it's possible that it will galvanize them and make them all that much more determined to get win number one right here, right now. And what a joy to behold opening night of a new NBA season. A fresh start for everybody, including us. Shaq, what are you looking forward to this year? Well, some of the almost teams that couldn't get over the hump last year, I'm interested in to see if they've taken that next step. It's always interesting to see the young players and how they develop during the offseason. Were you partying or were you practicing? Ooh, I like the party practice thing, the P or the P. But I'll tell you what, this is the time of optimism. When everyone says it's a fresh start at 0-0, we should all be in the mix. But that's not reality. But I like the op optimism right now. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Opening night, fresh start. You Have you lost weight? Yes, you look, I have. You look tremendous. I really have. Thank you, Ernie. Shaq, just a physical specimen. That's all I can say. Was that a low blow, Ernie? It was not, as a matter of fact. You look great. It's been a, I'm really, you know, it's, we had an off season, and, and here we are, and you look like you're in game shape. Because I'm really optimistic about the question. Oh, oh you throw a big word, I throw a big word. Optimism, the optimistic. Ah, the don't matter. It's still a big word. Ah. That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thank you so much for joining us. You do. You look great. And yes, Ernie, I lost two pounds over the whole summer. <laughs>
Okafor kicks to Simmons. The turnaround, Jay. Bounces high off the rim and drops. And Simmons is totally comfortable near the rim, using his body well to get the shot he wants. And Oladipo kicks to Adams. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. That they did, and he's the one guy on D you can't leave alone, or he's going to get to the bucket over and over. Just torched him there. Okafor kicks to Bayless. Simmons off on the layup. Well, that set had everything but the finish. You know, even though they missed that shot, they know they will convert that more times than not. Count it good. Adams has got his first basket of the night. Well, using his wide frame right there, Adams able to get the position he wants and drops it through. Embiid the screen. And Simmons kicks to Bayless. And it comes off the front of the rim. This team is counting on him to knock down looks like that. It has to mess with your confidence a little bit. Oladipo dishes to Westbrook. Pass to Roberson. Six to shoot. Passes to Westbrook. The 11-footer. And again, it's Oklahoma City. Well, that's when his speed comes at you, and then he throws the ball out there with some length and is able to finish around you. And now we'll go to David Aldridge. You had a chance to talk with Coach Billy Donovan. Well, Kevin, they have a specific approach to tonight's game. He told me they have to get the ball into the paint as much as possible and take advantage of what they believe is a big inch for them inside. Let's see if they're right about that tonight. Back to you. Thanks, David. Grant, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And Ben Simmons, the latest star to come over from Australia. Many feel that he could be the player that vaults Australia into a powerhouse on the international level. A lot of hopes being placed in the shoulders of Simmons. Yeah, fellow Australian Andrew Bogut said that Simmons will most likely be the best Australian player ever in just a short time. I mean, his game translates well in international ball, has the frame and playmaking ability to just carry a team. And Adams sends it back. Adams is a decent shot blocker, but relies on his position mostly, that time in the right spot. That one goes. Count it. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Now here's Bayless, guarded closer. Embiid sets the pick for Simmons. The 76ers again can't hit it. The Thunder with the lead. Grant with the ball. Pass to Sabonis. Off on the layup. Well, the defense knew exactly how to play his man there. An outstanding effort. Can't get it to fall. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Sabonis has got his first points of the game. And that's just not something Russell came in doing, being a playmaker. But what we're seeing out of Westbrook now, great vision. Bayless the pass to Embiid. Back to Bayless. Yes, that goes in. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here's Westbrook. He feeds it to Adams. And the rejection by Embiid. And Simmons kicks to Anderson. He dishes it to Okafor. Feeds it to Embiid. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Okafor. While we have a chance, let's take a look at the teams that led the NBA in rebounding last season. Number one, the Thunder. They, they had such a strong presence in the paint. Just a physical team. They dominated the interior in terms of rebounding. Now, here's Oladipo. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Stolen by Bayless. Here's the pass to Okafor. Back to Bayless. Launches a three. 
Sabonis grabs the board. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. Oklahoma City shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. The first one falls. And the Sixers, you know, patiently building with young talent. And, and through all the losing, Coach Brett Brown talked about seeing the daylight. And I think we're starting to see it as well. The roster is starting to take shape. And maybe that optimism is just around the corner for the Sixers. He's perfect from the line this time. And the Sixers have drafted for talent rather than for need. A lot of front court players. You wonder, Greg, how it would all fit in. And I think especially for a young team with so many needs, you are best served going with the best player available. They've evaluated how the pieces fit, and now they can make the moves necessary to complete that puzzle. Surveying the Thunder roster here, and a lot of the players on it were their own draft picks. They've done a great job of identifying some talent late in rounds in the draft. Found a good amount of rotation players even when they were going deep into the playoffs. And for the Thunder and their draft success, Brent, it's so important as they aren't usually big players in free agency. Well, that's a tip of the cap you have to give to their general manager to continue to seek out players that are going to complement the team. Just invaluable. He's off on the second. And the athleticism that Simmons has is downright unreal. Just a remarkable talent who has the potential to be one of the all-time greats. It's Oladipo on the wing. Henderson defending. Yes, that goes in. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the face. And Simmons comes it in. And Simmons loves jamming it through, relentless in his attack of the cup. The Thunder have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Stolen by Bates. Down low, here's Embiid, and that comes off the assist by Jared Bayless. And that ties it up. Yeah, crafty pass inside gets him that nice look. Here's Sabonis. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Embiid the screen. And Bayless kicks to Embiid. And there's the feed to Okafor. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Dishes to Bayless. Here's the three. Traps in the tray. Bayless has got five. How on earth did they let him get that wide open? Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. The topics that always seems to come up when players retire is what's next, Brent? You were a 14-year veteran in the league. How big of a change has it been from retirement to when you played the transition period in between and adapting to it. Well, I, I thought about life after basketball for quite some time, and you know, Kevin, from knowing me, that broadcasting was something I was very interested in, so I had the opportunity to talk with a few people after I retired, and I felt like the timing was appropriate and seamless to be able to continue talking about players that I had played with, played against, coaches that I played with, coaches that I played against, and continue to pass along at least some of the knowledge and maybe some of the perspective that I've had throughout the course of 14 long, celebrated years in the game. Fun years. Any thoughts to coaching? Uh, yeah, some thoughts to coaching, eventually. When my boys get a little bit older, I'll, I'll coach somebody else's kids. Right now, I'll coach my own. You'd be terrific. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Philadelphia able to drain the three. Pass to Sabonis. Just five on the clock. And the shot goes in. He has six. And here is Bayless. He's got five. Kicks it to Embiid. Back to Bayless. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Stolen by Grant. Grant. 
And Oladipo gets to Adams, and he banks in the layup. And the Thunder lead by three. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Bayless dishes to Henderson. Okafor up top. Back to Henderson. He kicks to Okafor. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. And that's exactly what you want. Height mismatch in close leads to the easy layup. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Merlin's Noel checks in for Embiid. Hollis Thompson comes in for Simmons. Luwawu is checked in for Gerald Henderson. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Jared Bayless. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Cantor is checked in for Adams. Laverne comes in for Sabonis. Anthony Moros checked in for Oladipo. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Now, here's Grant. Cantor kicks to Grant. The dish now to Payne. Six to shoot. Inside, Cantor. And the rejection by Noel. But they recover it. And here's Morrow outside. Sinks the triple. Morrow's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Now here's Okafor. Over to the wing. Laverne with the steal. Here's Grant. Here's Cantor. The putback. And Cantor able to finish. Now it's a five-point Thunder lead. They are just killing them on the interior. McConnell passes to Noel. Inside. It's tipped. Here's Luwalu. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. A chance here now for a three-point play. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Fearless, despite the size mismatch, took it right to him. Sarge has checked in for Okafor. Well, what you have to like about Ennis Cantor, defense aside, is that he's an efficient scorer. He's got great instincts to offensive rebound and be in position for somebody to feed him the ball on the inside. Oklahoma City leading by three. Here's Laverne, and Laverne throws it down. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Luwum. Passes it to Sarge. From 18 feet away, misses off the right iron. And for Canner, his play is what everyone envisioned for him when he was taken third overall back in that 2011 draft. Well, the hopes for every general manager looking at Cantor was that he'd be a great low post scorer, and that's where he's shown most of his prowess there and at the offensive glass where he just simply swallows everything up and puts it back in the basket. And here comes the break. And here we go. Here's Thompson. Goes back up, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And out of Georgetown University, Hollis Thompson, a three-point specialist at shooting guard. Yeah, how about a lanky 6'8"? He's got great length for the position, and that helps him defensively. Primarily a catch-and-shoot guy, not someone you want to rely on to create his own shot. Now, here's Cantor. Pass to Morrow. Here's Laverne. That shot, no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. To the inside. A slam by Sarge. It's almost as if both teams are in a zone. Yeah, fans are getting their money's worth already. If you like high-scoring affairs, you're in the right place. And so here is Oklahoma City after the Sixers pick up two. Morrill kicks to Laverne. Cancer inside. Noel on him. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Thompson misses. The Thunder with the lead. 
feeds it to Payne. Wide open. And it's Noel with the rebound. We've got 118 left to play in the first. Laverne with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. Payne can't hit. And you can see why the D is willing to just back off and really take their chances with his jump shot. And Sarge kicks to Noel. It's good. This game is all even. Noel's got his first points in this one. 52 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Now Payne. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. It's stolen. Thompson outside. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Here's Morrow. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And there's the pass to Payne. Shot clock at six. Morrill kicks to Grant. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Here's McConnell. Thompson inside the line. It's all tied in Philadelphia. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Russell Westbrook, a guy who has faced some criticism. Also a guy who is extremely critical of himself. It's tough, and I'm still learning every night to be able to come out, to know when to score, to know when to pass, to know when to be aggressive, to know when to slow down. Um, it can be tough at times because I want to do so well, and I want my teammates to do so well, um, and I want to win so bad. Well, you have to love the competitive attitude, the desire to be great, not just for himself, but for his teammates, too. And the emphasis on winning. That's why so many people in the league feel that it's just a matter of time before Westbrook puts those finishing touches on his game. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And guys, what's your take on the 76ers so far? I just really like what we're seeing from a defensive standpoint, forcing a lot of turnovers with those quick hands. These guys are pickpockets out there. They feast off of that kind of carelessness. You have to protect the ball around them. So for Oklahoma City right now, Russell Westbrook out there with Anthony Morrow. Then it's Ennis Kenton, and there's Laverne, and it's Roberson in at the three. Now here's Sarge. Following the miss by Russell Westbrook. Henderson, no one around him. Good on the three-point shot. Henderson's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for Philadelphia. Westbrook dishes to Cantor, and it goes down two points. A reliable finisher who can score in a multitude of ways. Cantor is a tough cover down low. Henderson with it. He feeds it to Noel. Got a piece of it. Westbrook with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. Oh, trying for it. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Some changes for Philadelphia. Simmons comes in for Hollis Thompson. And Jared Bayless subbed in for T.J. McConnell. Then for the Thunder, Adams comes in for Cantor. And it's Victor Oladipo in for Anthony Morrow. Here's Sarich. And Adams sends it back. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball. The putback. Adam. Great positioning on the putback. And without his sharp shooting, who knows where they'd be right now. Second quarter of action. About a minute and a half played. 
And the 76ers setting an all-time record for patience as far as <laughs> going young, Greg, and building through the draft. There's been a lot of losing along the way. Yeah, and a lot of questions to their strategy. I mean, but the front office said their philosophy was trying to plant an orchard from seed. Uh, they didn't want to buy apples, I guess. They, they wanted to grow them from the ground up. Well, they better get that harvest moving fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, it seems at times that Russell Westbrook can put up a triple-double at will. But he said, everybody thinks that I care about numbers and things like that, but I really don't. I don't think about who shoots, how many times they shoot. That really doesn't matter to me. I just like to win. All that matters is if we win. Kevin? Thanks, D.A., one of the most competitive players in the NBA. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to a point with the bucket from Simmons. And Simmons is a purebred scorer, a dominant offensive talent who can score in so many ways. Offensive rebound, Laverne, and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Laverne's got six. And how about the perseverance offensively? I mean, following up the missed shot, and that results in second and third opportunities. Now here's Simmons. 12 points for him. And here is Sarich to the paint. It's tipped. Just five to shoot. On its way from Oladipo for two. And it's Oladipo again missing. And you know what? That's one of those heat checks if he's taking shots like that. And even though he's been on a roll tonight, that one was a bit forced. Here's Sarich. Thunder with the rebound. Well, you could tell he kind of rushed the release there, which is probably the biggest reason why he clanked that one off the rim. Oladipo, the pass to Westbrook. He dishes it to Laverne. They set the screen. A wide open look here for Oladipo. Traps in the train. And the Thunder lead by six. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Now here's Simmons. Back to Bayless. And Noel gets to Sarkis. No good on the triple. And I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Back to Westbrook. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt and his third make. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. The 76ers trail by eight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And the basket is good. Anderson's got five points now this quarter. Well, he approaches the rim strong there and then flips up the teardrop. Westbrook kicks to Oladipo. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City. Scooped up. And Laverne gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And the 76ers with some changes. Embiid, he's checked in for Noel. And Okafor subbed in for Sarge. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Sabonis, he's checked in for Laverne. Now Bayless. He's got five. Now the feed to Okafor. To the middle. Here's Simmons. Look at oh, that no way. I mean, beautiful. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? And that last replay courtesy of Kia. Now here's Oladipo. Here's Westbrook. And that one comes up a bit short. I have no clue what happened with the defense there, but they should be thanking their lucky stars that somehow he bricked that golden opportunity. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's Westbrook. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Oladipo outside. Off target from three-point range. And his shot just doesn't seem to be synced up right now. Here's hoping he finds it soon because his team is really going to need that production tonight. And he has a great ability to lead his man with the pass. Puts him in great position to score. And so here is Oklahoma City after the Sixers pick up two. Dishes it to Westbrook. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. 
When you look at Russell Westbrook, definitely an MVP caliber player. And I recall some eyebrows being raised when he was selected by the Seattle Sonics, the fourth overall pick back in 2008. Clearly, the franchise knew what they were doing. Oh, good on that one. And Frank, you won the dunk contest back in 96. You've got to think Russell Westbrook could have won it too if he won it. Are, are you saying over me, Kevin? Yeah. There are a lot of guys who could have won it over me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, big time game dunker. And I love this quote. He said, I dunk on people. That's what makes his dunk so special, the ferocity with which he attacks the rim. And Brent, you can feel the electricity here on opening night. Well, opening night is so special, Kevin. You really treasure them, especially when you're done playing like I do. And great to be sitting next to you here for all this excitement. Same here. What atmosphere and what a partner. And for years, people used to criticize Westbrook for his shot selection. You hear less and less of that, though, now lately. Well, he's an MVP-type player in his own right. He led the league in scoring in 2015, remember, with Kevin Durant out, and he did it very, very efficiently. It's a good problem to have if you're Billy Donovan in the Thunder. One more time. Give it up, and where the shot's been coming from tonight? Here's a look broken down by paint, mid-range, and three-point shot attempt so far for Oklahoma City. And clearly, this is a squad that makes its living in the paint. Very few teams are as determined to get the ball inside as much as they are. They aren't going to settle for jump shots. They're going to continue to pound it down low. Philadelphia's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. And Simmons kicks to Okafer. Pass to Bayless. Now here's Simmons. He's tightly guarded. Pulls up. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Here's Roberson. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The 76ers trail. Luau, the pass to Simmons. Down low, deflects the pass. It's stolen by Adams. Outside Westbrook. To the middle, here's Sabonis. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Now here's Bayless. Five points in the game to the inside. It's picked off. And here we go with Westbrook running it up the court. Here's Oladipo. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. One of those guys who you say 6'4", but plays bigger. Oladipo with the strength to finish through the contact. Hollis Thompson's checked in for Philadelphia. T.J. McConnell comes in for Jared Bayless. Cameron Payne's checked in for the Thunder. The Thunder shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Here's McConnell. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Okafor, the pass to Luan. Here's McConnell. Misses off the left iron. The Thunder leading by six. Okafor with the steal. McConnell kicks to MB. Now here's Payne. He's covered closely. Oladipo. He can't get that one. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Yeah, it's tough. His shot's been off today. Luckily, his team still has the edge in the game so far. A different look for Oklahoma City. Cantor comes in for Adams. And Anthony Morrow subbed in for Victor Oladipo. And this is Cantor. Anthony Morrow. And here are the 76ers now. They trail by six. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. And Roberson kicks to Payne. There's the dish to Cantor. Tries from 10. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Cantor's got the lead up to eight now for the Thunder. Here's McConnell. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. With this pause in the action, let's show you the teams that have scored the most points in the league last season. Second, the Thunder. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. Now here's Payne. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Here's Roberson. Kicks it to Cantor. There's the basket and make it a double-digit lead. Cantor's got six points in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash-mouth physical basketball, guys. Well, watch Robertson play, and you'll see why it is that he's respected amongst his teammates. Great length with his arms, can guard the one through four position, and blends size and speed. The only thing that you'd like to see is him improve his consistency from the three-point line. Here's McConnell. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Thinking a bit more about Robertson and his defense, he can do it all from jumping a passing lane to sending a shot into the third row. Yeah, so really for him, it's all about shot, timing. Very smart in the way he lines up to block shots and a good sense of knowing when to jump in and help off the ball. For Philadelphia, they have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. Taking two shots. The first free throw is good. And, and Jalil Okafor, really a, a throwback in a lot of ways. You know, when you think about some of the low post giants that our game has seen, I mean, 6'11", over 270 pounds, tremendous hands and footwork, and he can take defenders to school on that low block. Going to continue to have to improve his passing, particularly out of double teams, and ability to face up a little more. But again, this is a guy with a tremendous amount of ability moving forward. And they say post play is a bit of a lost art. It's hard to do effectively against modern NBA defenses. Do you think Okafor will be successful, Greg, well playing that kind of style? You know, he'll have to develop his passing to, to punish teams who bring help. Uh, they have to surround him with shooters, though. If not, then there's no penalty for swarming him inside. Here's McConnell following the score by Oklahoma City. And Bede kicks to Okafor. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Okafor's got eight here in the quarter. We might be in for a career night here, guys. He was solid in the first quarter. He's been even better here in the second. Payne with it. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Six on the shot clock. Ripped away. Thompson heading to the hoop. And made possible by a heads-up play defensively at the other end. A minute 50 left in the first half of basketball. Passes to Sabonis. To the paint. Got a piece of it. Embiid with the steal. And here's the fast break. Here's Luwawu. And it's what? And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. Out to the right wing. There's Sabonis, covered by Okafor. Pocket six. Stolen. Here's McConnell. Embiid kicks to Thompson. Back to Embiid. Pass to Luwawu. Six to shoot. Here's Okafor. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Oh, the officials are all over that one.
He is three for three from the free throw line. And, you know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And that one falls for Okafor. When you look at the Thunder last season, they were slept on as a contender for the title. Warriors and Spurs, very, very good, but in the same conference. Might have helped the Thunder to stay focused and fly under the radar just a little bit more. Grant, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And usually the Thunder are favorites to go deep, and that's exactly what they did last year, all the way to the Western Conference Finals. Well, you look at what Westbrook represented in Oklahoma City over the past five or six seasons, and there, there's no doubt with that kind of talent, you're going to have a chance every year, Kevin, to make a deep push. The Thunder shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. The free throw drops for Grant. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Sarge has checked in for Philadelphia. Both good from the line that time. 51 seconds left in the first half of the game. McConnell passes to Luella. And Sarge kicks to McConnell. The screen from Thompson. Here's Sarge. And Grant sends it back. And then it's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. The 76ers making a switch here. Noel's checked in. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. Burns checked in. And Philadelphia has possession. Seven-point differential. No good from Luwabu. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. About three seconds between shot and game clock. 13 feet away. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Sarge has got his third rebound on the night. To the middle. And count the basket. He's fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. 76ers have been shooting right around 75% at the line. 9 of 12 so far. And here's Payne. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. It's tipped. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Thunder lead by four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Russell, how confident are you that there's nobody that can stay in front of you? Uh, very confident. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, I put a lot of work in in the summertime. And I'm very confident. That is never a problem for you, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we're halfway through this one. The new NBA season getting underway. I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Kenny the Jet Smith. Got Shaquille O'Neal. Always great to be around you knuckleheads. Thank, Thank you, brother. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. Nothing seemed to give way on either side of the scoring column as they wrapped up the period all knotted up. The second quarter was a tight battle, but they were the slightly better team. Not by very much, however. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. Well, I thought that turning point was when the bench came in. Those guys really hustled, and they gave the team some energy, and then they started to score baskets. That was a bonus. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Philadelphia? Well, a lot of their points came in transition. They dictated the pace of the game. It was a fast pace. Put the defense back on its heels. I say keep attacking the second half. Do not slow down. And time now to send you back down to the floor with Kevin Harlan. We will see you after the game. The 
beautiful skyline of downtown Philadelphia all lit up, pressed up, and ready to go. And we welcome you back to the NBA here on 2K Sports. And we're ready to get going once more. The players having a chance to have a short break and get some rest themselves and get refueled and hydrated with some Gatorade. More terrific basketball in store for us tonight. You look at Ben Simmons in this game. He's been everywhere. And how about his scoring in that first half? He just looked like a different player today. Really on point. Yeah, I think the defense gave him a little extra room early on. He got hot, and now they can't cool him down. And the Thunder with the possession here. They've led by as much as 10. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Taking a look at the 76ers. Simmons is out there with Jaleel Okafor. Then it's Henderson. Then it's Jared Bayless. And it's Embiid in at the five down low. And guys, really admire how Simmons finds the open man consistently. The, the vision, the unselfishness. That's what you want to see out of him. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from your sideline. Well, Kevin, we know that the Thunder hired Billy Donovan as its new head coach. In his two decades at the University of Florida, he led them to two national titles with players like Al Horford and Joe King Noah. A defensive-minded coach, he's developed into a great offensive mind. Fellas, that's what he's trying to bring to OKC. Moving the floor, as he calls it. Creating space for their great scorers to operate. Ball movement, player movement. That's where the league is going, D.A. Thanks. And you see Billy Donovan out there on the sidelines, and he can't help but to think of all the success he's had as a coach already. Back-to-back -back titles in college. Essentially built that Florida basketball program into a powerhouse. He's hoping that he can bring some of that success translated to the NBA and get himself in title contending position. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. It's amazing to watch these NBA athletes competing every day. You and I get the lucky seat right there in front midcourt. Such size. Such athleticism, it's, it's intimidating. Who are the most intimidating players, you think, in the game today? If you go to Detroit and you want to match up with number zero there mm -hmm. and Andre Drummond, <laughs> Look out. you're in for a long night. <laughs> Harness yourself in. The way that he can patrol the middle, Kevin, and the way he's relentless at coming at the offensive glass and the defensive glass all game long, I'm really interested in the development of Andre Drummond as the centerpiece figuratively and literally for the Detroit Pistons. And B the street. Okafor against Adams. Here's Henderson. The Thunder pull it in. Adams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Westbrook kicks to Roberson. A nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Count that one. Adams has got four points in the quarter. And that's what we mean by combo guard skills right there. Kept his head up and found the open man. Feeds to Simmons. Okafor up top. Adams defending. Okafor dishes to Henderson. Just five to shoot. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Henderson's got his third basket of the night. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Adams' shot is good. Well, Adams on most nights is a complimentary scorer, so let's compliment what he's doing right now. Now the pass to Henderson. Okafor kicks to Henderson. Okafor, the pass to Henderson. To the inside. And MB throws it down. Yeah, nice, strong finish on the inside. But great, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. Oladipo dishes to Westbrook. 
And Adams kicks to Roberson. There's the screen. Pass to Sabonis. Soft touch off the glass. Sabonis has got 10. Boy, yes. well, you can't give him that kind of a position in the post. Absolutely not. Bottom line is the D has to do everything it can to prevent him from getting that deep. Now here's Okafor. He's got 12. Here's Simmons. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got seven rebounds in the game. And Oladipo kicks to Westbrook. And the rejection by Embiid. Over to the left wing. Here's Simmons. Thunder with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Oladipo, the pass to Sabonis. Outside Westbrook. And a miss there on the triple. The 76ers trail by six. Not loose. Here's Roberson. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Robertson dishes to Adams. And stolen by Simmons. And you've got to do a better job of making sure the defender isn't in your space. I mean, if you're going to pump fake, you've got to make sure he doesn't have a chance for the steal. The Thunder leading by four. Now, here's Oladipo. He's got six. Screen by Adams. Near the three-point line, it's Westbrook. Another miss by Westbrook. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. Now Simmons, 14 points for him. And Andre Robertson is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Henderson kicks to MB. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for your 76ers. Joel MB at the line for two. The first one falls. Brent, at some point, all NBA players know when it's time to hang him up. Kobe went through it last year. What was the moment for you? The moment for me, Kevin, was in Portland, Oregon. Happened to be playing against the Portland Trailblazers. And a guy named Rudy Fernandez mm -hmm. was on the Trailblazers mm -hmm. at that time. And uh, Rudy played like the roadrunner. He did not stop running. And I remember there was a play where I tried to chase him off a screen. He came around the screen, went up for a lob dunk. And I could not catch up to him. And I thought to myself, this might be a good time to think about the end of your career. It happens that sudden. I'm like, I mean, you can pinpoint it to one play. I don't know that every player can do that. But thank you, Rudy Fernandez, <laughs> for the clear-cut <laughs> message yes. that that was going to be my last season. <laughs> Here's MB following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Here's Okafor, and Okafor slams it in. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. And Gerald Henderson is going to pick up that foul. That is his first foul of the game. Sarge has checked in for Joel Embiid. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Laverne, he's checked in for Sabonis. To the inside. Roberson the pass to Adams. Henderson pulls it in. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Bayless's shot is off. Well, he really t rex that one, guys, short-arming it. He should have taken more time to make sure he was comfortable shooting it. Knocks down the three ball. And the three-point shot is money from Laverne. Can't let him get a clean look from there. Simmons with it. He's got 14. Okafor dishes to Simmons. 
and it's blocked. And Roberson kicks to West. Connects in the foul line jumper. Now it's a seven-point Thunder lead. So elusive on the offensive end. Very difficult for any defense to match up against. And here is Simmons. He kicks to Bates. Fires from the line. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Bayless has got nine. To leave a guy like that wide open from range, big mix-up. Outside Westbrook. He feeds it to Laverne from 13. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his seventh assist here tonight. The 76ers trail by seven. Simmons passes to Bayless. He dishes it to Okafor. Now here's Simmons. Defense right on him from 17 feet out. And it's Okafor missing. And that was a difficult shot from mid-range simply because the defense was engaged. And good defenders know it's about angles. Got great position and really bothered the release point. You always talk about glue guys and guys that do the little things to help their team. Steven Adams is certainly that for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Not a big presence in the box to score. But when you watch him play with his team, he's willing to sacrifice his body, set hard screens, and be a presence on the interior. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Noel's checked in for Okafor. Thompson comes in for Simmons. Luwawu is checked in for Gerald Henderson. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Jared Bayless. And thinking again on Adams, the scoring isn't what makes him valuable, Brandon. It's his defense and his solid screen setting. Well, I think it's his idea that the role that he has is something that he's very comfortable with, and he wants to be successful at doing it. He doesn't hurt the team by getting out of his comfort zone. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. With the break in the action, let's show you the teams with the most second-chance points last year. Number one, the Thunder. Yeah, that was a huge factor for them a season ago, their ability to attack the offensive glass and then convert those into second chance buckets. I mean, no one did it better. And that one misses. And Merwin's Noel, already an exceptional defender, but his offensive game is still a great work in progress. Yeah, they're trying to develop his free throw shot, and I think they're hoping his elbow jumper improves along with it. He can already pass and slash from the high post, and if he gets that jumper going, he'll have the makings of a triple threat. Now, here's Grant. He's got six. Offensive rebound. Payne kicks to Cantor. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Cantor's got 10 points in the game. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. And slam dunk by Noel. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Payne kicks to Morrow. Tanner, high post. Grant outside. And Bain now top of the key. Lock at six. No good from outside. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. No hesitation at all on the alley -oop. Saw his teammate with a path to the hoop. And bang! Lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Feed to Laverne. Fades back. It's all in by Sarich. Sarich has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. McConnell kicks to Thompson. Stolen by Grant. 
And here's Morrow outside. Rebound by the 76ers. Noel's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's McConnell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Now here's Thompson. From deep. No good that time. Some solid defense from Grant. Now Laverne. 11 points in the game. And Thompson sends it back. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. Morrow dishes to paint from 13, and it's Laverne missing. The 76ers trail by five. Here's Luwalu, McConnell in the corner. The 76ers with another miss. Oklahoma City's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Inside, and Laverne kicks to Cantor. Not enough on that one as it misses. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Sarich. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Sarich has got his second bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. Dishes it tomorrow. Burn up top. Kicks it to Grant. The fadeaway. And it's Cantor again missing. And you know what? That's one of those heat checks if he's taking shots like that. And even though he's been on the roll tonight, that one was a bit forced. That ties it up. Sarge has got five points in the quarter. The Thunder shooting 43% for the game. Grant outside. 24 seconds left to play in the third. The dish tomorrow. Trying to get back on track. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Here's McConnell. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. They get it again. Poked loose. Here's Noel. And slam dunk by Noel. And you guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. Yeah, he picked up the ball clean. He has a sneaky court awareness that you have to be careful around. That time results in the steal. Now let's hear what head coach Billy Donovan was reviewing with his team in the huddle. We should never get beat like that in transition when they throw the ball. Those points add up right now. Let's be locked in and focused right now. Billy Donovan, as you can tell, not too happy. Failing to get back on defense, a major sin in the game of basketball, especially from his standpoint. Yeah, and any time you get severely out-hustled, you're going to hear about it from your coach. And you should if he's worth anything. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. The 76ers leading, and Oklahoma City, looking who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Sabonis and Cantor, the pair inside. Payne out there with Russell West, and it's Grant in at the small forward spot. Now here's Simmons, but they get it back. Noel buries it down low. Noel's got the lead up to four now for Philadelphia. Well, this is familiar territory for him, scoring off the second chance opportunity. Outside Westbrook passes it to Cannon. From 11 feet away, that one's rebounded by Embiid. Fantastic team defensive effort there. They made him uncomfortable taking that inside look, and it showed in the release. Well, the D looks like they're laying off just a little bit. He made one three in the first half, but they're still daring him to shoot, and he can't make them pay for it. Grant the pass to Cannon. Oh, here's Payne. Henderson defending. And you can learn a lot about rebounding by watching this guy. Look at the fundamentals there on the box out. Simmons dishes to Henderson. 
can hit the reverse layup. Thunder trailing by four. Here's Grant from outside off the mark. For Philadelphia, they've gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. And Embiid throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. A different look for Oklahoma City. Steven Adams, he's jacked in for Ennis Cantor. Elberson comes in for Jeremy Grant. And it's Victor Oladipo in for Payne. On the free throw, no good. And quite frankly, the Thunder are just one of the most dangerous offensive teams out there, but their defense is solid too. A lot of good one-on-one -on -one defenders in their rotation near the top of the league in defensive efficiency. A pretty free look from three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. Well, you concern yourself with the other guys who you think are going to damage you, and he stepped up and delivered that huge three-point shot. Now here's Simmons to the middle. It's tipped. It's stolen by Adams. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Okafor is checked in for the 76 ers Philadelphia leading by three. And the Thunder did a good job of challenging shooters and locking down on deep. They also know how, as we've seen, to protect the rim. Well, a lot of that success last year on the interior has to be given to Steven Adams and the incredible progression that he showed as a center in this league. Really figuring out what it is that his opponents like to do and how he can be effective. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Outside Westbrook. To the inside. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three-second violation. When you take a look at the fit for Oklahoma City with Russell Westbrook and Victor Oladipo, that might be the most athletic backcourt tandem in the NBA. Well, you'd be hard-pressed in the Western Conference to find a backcourt that has this kind of athleticism. McCollum and Lillard in Portland, that's one way to go. Steph and Clay in Golden State, that's another. But sheer athleticism right here in OKC, they may be tops. You know, looking at his release and his form, it just seems like something is off, and it's affecting both his shot and, at this point, his confidence. 76ers moving the ball around. They get the rebound. The layup off target. Under trailing by five. Pass to Sabonis. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got his eighth assist here tonight. Well, continuing his growth as a leader on this team. Westbrook now becoming one of the sharper playmakers in the NBA. Now here's Bayless. Feeds to Embiid. The pass to Henderson. Westbrook with the steal. Overs on the pass to Sabonis. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. Love to see passes to guys on the move that are on target. They don't break stride. Philadelphia's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Now here's Okafor. A shot's good from Bayless. Under trailing by three. Oladipo outside. Pass to West. High post try. Not going to go that time. And Philadelphia the other way now. In the corner. Simmons with it. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Oberson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He kicks it to Westbrook. 
looking to get back on track here. And he overshot that one, missing. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Here's Embiid, makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. And we may have an injury here that does not look good. Well, you know, injuries, they're just such a part of the game. His teammates, the coaches, the fans, everyone here collectively holding their breath that that injury is not something that's serious. And the 76ers making a change here. Noel's checked in. Here's Oladipo, plenty of space, and again, Oklahoma City, no good. And Simmons gets to Okafer, and it falls over the rim and in. Now it's a seven-point Philadelphia lead. And that's exactly how they've gotten the lead right here. Easily, he's been their most consistent performance. Yeah, 2020 tonight, he could not be more focused, just locked in. Got to give him the ball. The 76ers have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Pick by Okafor. Simmons dishes to Okafor. Here's Henderson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Thunder trailing by four. Here's Roberson. The teardrop falls in. Uh, he approaches the rim strong there and then flips up the teardrop. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. I mean, guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth upper record. To the paint, there's a bonus, and the rejection by Noel. It's good on the footback. Adams has got it all tied up now for the Thunder. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. They lift the pass to Simmons. He feeds it to Okafor. To take the lead. And they take the lead. Westbrook's got nine points here in the second half. Now that's a Westbrook mindset right there. I'm going through you. Doesn't allow his focus to be shaken, even when the defense gets a little bit nasty. Now here's Bayless. And Noel kicks to Anderson. Picked by Okafor. Anderson dishes to Simmons. Shot clock at six. Will it go? Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Oladipo misses. Philadelphia's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. But they get it back. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Really makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Adams outside. Now, here's Westbrook. Not a lot of room. Rebound by the 76ers. Okafer's got five rebounds tonight. And it's Noel missing. Oklahoma City has gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Westbrook kicks to Adams. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Roberson. Back to Adams. And Okafer with the block. Simmons with it. He dishes it to Noel. Now the feed to Simmons. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Steven Adams did not like that at all. And that is a punch to the jaw. This came as tight as it can be, and he pulls something off that we might not even see in the All-Star game. Ooh, well, I don't think he planned it too far in advance. That was one of those things, you know, Greg, that just happens. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Here's Simmons following the basket by Russell Westbrook. And here is Noel to the left wing. Westbrook with the steal. And the Thunder pushing it up now. And it's good. Walk through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. And he's been demanding the ball in these situations. Westbrook with a chance to put this team away. Free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. 
And Robertson mostly known for his defense, but he can find ways to contribute on the offensive end, too. Brent Braden transition. He can jump out of the building if you give him a chance. Well, is there a little bit of Sean Marion in what you get out of Robertson? That's not a bad comparison. I'm sure he'd take that, but he's fast in the open floor. He finishes a lot of chances. His three-point shot seems to be coming along as well, but mostly, Kevin, out there for defense. And they get the rebound, but guys, that's been the issue throughout the game. Simmons passes to Okafor. Dishes it to Simmons. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Simmons got four this quarter. Yeah, just great. Whenever Simmons takes over a possession like that, what a killer instant. And finished off by Oladipo. A confidence shown from Oladipo. He wants that shot in that moment. Simmons dishes to Okafor. Here's the screen. And Bayless kicks to Simmons. And that's on a bound. Philadelphia will retain possession. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Well, good hand-eye coordination, but he could only get the deflection very close. Sarge has checked in for Noel. Here's Okafor. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And now a five-point Thunder lead. Adam, such a physical presence out there on the glass. This is how he gets a lot of his points. Anderson passes to Simmons. Another miss by Philadelphia. And here are the Thunder now. They're on an 18 to 6 run and finished off by Westbrook. I mean, it is really like he's jumping off of a trampoline out there. Westbrook can do anything he wants when he gets up like that. Now here's Simmons. Picked by Okafor. And Simmons kicks to Anderson. Nice tee from Oladipo. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Well, that happens sometimes. The ball just does not go down. But I'll tell you what. He'll take that shot every time. Here's Oladipo. They set the pick. There's the three. Rebound by the 76ers. Might want to stop shooting from out there right now because it's just not. It's the 2K Sports pregame show brought to you by Kia. Tonight, two teams begin a new journey. The beginning of the NBA regular season. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by my colleagues and my friends. Oh, wow. My buds. Yeah. Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking at the Thunder, it's not an ideal situation for them, starting the season in a hostile environment on the road, but it's possible that it will galvanize them and make them all that much more determined to get win number one right here, right now. It's the 2K Sports pregame show, brought to you by Kia. Tonight, two teams begin a new journey, the beginning of the NBA regular season. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by my colleagues and my friends. Oh, wow. My buds. Yeah. Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking at the Thunder, it's not an ideal situation for them, starting the season in a hostile environment on the road, but it's possible that it will galvanize them and make them all that much more determined to get win number one right here, right now. And what a joy to behold opening night of a new NBA season. A fresh start for everybody, including us. Shaq, what are you looking forward to this year? Well, some of the almost teams that couldn't get over the hump last year, I'm interested in to see if they've taken that next step. It's always interesting to see the young players and how they develop. It's the 2K Sports pregame show, brought to you by Kia. Tonight, two teams begin a new journey, the beginning of the NBA regular season. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by my colleagues and my friends. Oh, wow. My buds. Yeah. Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking at the Thunder, it's not an ideal situation for them, starting the season in a hostile environment on the road, but it's possible 
that will galvanize them and make them all that much more determined to get win number one right here, right now. And what a joy to behold opening night of a new NBA season. A fresh start for everybody, including us. Shaq, what are you looking forward to this year? Well, some of the almost teams that couldn't get over the hump last year, I'm interested in already to see if they've taken that next step. It's always interesting to see the young players and how they develop. It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, brought to you by Kia. Tonight, two teams begin a new journey, the beginning of the NBA regular season. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by my colleagues and my friends, oh, wow. my buds, yeah. Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Looking at the Thunder, it's not an ideal situation for them, starting the season in a hostile environment on the road, but it's possible that it will galvanize them and make them all that much more determined to get win number one right here, right now. And what a joy to behold opening night of a new NBA season. A fresh start for everybody, including us. Shaq, what are you looking forward to this year? Well, some of the almost teams that couldn't get over the hump last year, I'm interested in to see if they've taken that next step. It's always interesting to see the young players and how they develop during the offseason. Were you partying or were you practicing? Ooh, I like the party practice thing, the P or the P. But I'll tell you what, this is the time of optimism. When everyone says it's a fresh start at 0-0, we should all be in the mix. But that's not reality. But I like the op optimism right now. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Opening night, fresh start. You Have you lost weight? Yes, you I look, have. You look tremendous. I really have. Thank you, Ernie. Shaq, just a physical specimen. That's all I can say. Was that a low blow, Ernie? It was not, as a matter of fact. You look great. It's been a, I'm really, you know, it's, we had an off season, and, and here we are, and you look like you're in game shape. Because I'm really optimistic about the question. Oh, oh you throw a big word, I throw a big word. Optimism, optimistic. Ah, uh, don't matter, it's still a big word. Okay. Uh, That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thank you so much for joining us. You do. You look great. And yes, Ernie, I lost two pounds over the whole summer. <laughs> been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks everyone for joining us here in the start of a new season. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. The fans here in Philadelphia ready to cheer on their 76ers in this interconference match. This is the first they're seeing of Oklahoma City here. First game of the NBA's regular season for them. They lost both of the matchups in this interconference battle a season ago. They'd like to change that now. An East-West showdown. Only one of two games between these squads. That adds a little extra emphasis to this first matchup, in my opinion, with each team wanting to grab the win and have a chance to sweep the season series the next time they see each other. Drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Thompson for three. He can't hit that time. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Russell. Congrats on the win. How are you guys able to stay in front down the stretch? Uh, just try to be aggressive. I mean, we did a good job in, in all game of staying aggressive, 
Our defense was key towards the end, and we did a good job of closing the game out. Great effort at both ends, Russell. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And Ernie Johnson is still in the building, folks, for the postgame show. Coming up next, the 2K Sports postgame show. Thank you, Kevin. Now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Stephen Adams. He posted a double-double tonight, points and rebounds. You can see the energy he brings to this team and the difference he makes when he's on his game. It's amazing how often he was able to slash right through the defense and get to the rim for an easy deuce. Come on, man. They couldn't stop his penetration, Ernie. All those points you racked up from the paint made a big difference. He was just having a ball out there, making big plays up and down the court. It didn't matter who or what defensive scheme was on him. He just took the challenge and gave you the full arsenal tonight. And that's it for tonight. But we've got a whole new NBA season ahead of us. For Shaquille O'Neal, for Kenny the Jet Smith, for Kevin Harlan, wherever he might be, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again very soon.